Hey, good evening guys. This is April from the Resellers Learning Curve. This video is a little bit different for me because I'm not in the car. I'm actually getting ready to go to bed. But before I go to bed, I wanted to shoot a quick video to give you guys a tip. I know that a lot of people are hesitant to take returns on eBay. I want to encourage you to take returns as soon as your business is at a place where you can afford to do so. And here's my reasoning. Today I received a positive feedback for a pair of shoes. The thing about this positive feedback that's notable is it was the third positive feedback that I have received for this single pair of shoes. The first two ladies returned the shoes because they didn't fit. The shoes were too big. The first lady said, you know, these shoes were awesome. They were in better shape than I imagined. They're listed as shoes, but they're actually new. They've never been worn. I love them, but they didn't fit. The second lady returned the shoes, also left glowing feedback before I even returned her money saying that the customer service was great, the shoes were amazing, she was sorry that she had to return them. Today, I got the third feedback for the pair of shoes and it looks like they're gonna stick this time because this buyer is super happy and she has not contacted me that she needs to return them. So, my point to you is that you guys want to set returns as soon as your business is in a place where you can justify doing so. Um, other than it being just a great business practice, you're going to create a, a sense of confidence with your buyers. They're going to know that if they buy your items and it doesn't work out for some reason, that they're not going to be stuck with them. Also, you could have a situation like the one I just had where you get three feedbacks for one single item. And the primary reason that you want to accept returns is that, in my experience, if you accept a return and you relist the item, it's going to sell really, really fast again. If it's a quality item and you had no problem selling it the first time, you're absolutely going to have no problem selling it the second time. So it's really no skin off your back. I know in my case, when an item is returned, I usually raise the price a little bit the second time just to account for the trouble that it takes me to relist the item, which actually in all honesty, isn't a lot of trouble. I just hit relist. So that's my tip for you guys today. As soon as your business is in a place where you can afford to accept returns, I encourage you to do so. It's a great business practice. It's gonna instill confidence in your buyers. You're gonna get positive feedback from your buyers once they know that they can return the items. And on top of everything else, I believe that eBay promotes these items in their own little way so that they actually sell a little bit faster because my returns always sell super quickly. So that's my tip for you guys tonight. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good night.